Here we have a couple of word problems that have to do with circles and intersecting segments or tangents. And the important thing to do with these is to draw a picture so you really know what you're dealing with. Let's look at this first one. It says two straight pipes intersect under a circular garden. So let me draw a circular garden. And we've got two straight lines that intersect under here somewhere. So I'll just draw one here and, oh, I don't know, one, here, one there. So we've got two pipes intersecting and uh, intercept non-adjacent arcs. So the arcs that the intercept aren't next to each other, so we could call it this one and this one, that measure 38 and 40 degrees. So let's say this is 38 degrees and this one's 40 degrees. What is the measure of the obtuse vertical angles formed where the two pipes intersect? So you know that this angle and this angle are the same because they're a pair of vertical, vertical angles. They're not the obtuse angle in this situation though because we've got these small uh, arcs that are being intercepted uh, and larger arcs over here so the obtuse angles must be these so we want to find that well I can find that if I find this angle first because it forms a linear pair with one of the small angles the way to find a small angle is to take the average of the two intercepted arcs so this would be 38 degrees plus 40 degrees divided by 2 that's 39 degrees and then, so that's 39, if I want to find this angle over here, this linear pair, it's just going to be 180 minus 39, which is 141 degrees. All right, let's try this next one. This one's a little more complicated. It says, a park maintenance person stands 18 meters from a circular monument. If you assume her lines of sight form tangents to the monument and make an angle of 40 degrees, what is the measure of the arc of the monument that her lines of sight intersect? Okay, that's pretty complicated. Let's think about this. A circular monument, I'm going to draw this from a top-down perspective. So there's our circular monument. And then we have a, a park maintenance person. And she's standing 18 meters away from that, but I'm not sure we're going to need the length, so I'm not going to put that in yet. I think the angles are more important here. It says, if you assume her lines of sight form tangents. So lines of sight, she's looking at this thing and she's looking at one edge over here and she's looking at the other edge over here. So those are tangents. And make an angle of 40 degrees. So right in here between her lines of sight is a 40 degree angle. What's the measure of the arc of the monument that her lines of sight in, in, intersect? So it would be this arc right in here. Well, when we have two tangent lines that intersect a circle, well, intercept an arc of a circle, there's a formula for that. The measure of the angle equals one half of the big arc minus the little arc. Okay, so that's our formula, and we're just going to have to plug some values in here. We have the angle, so 40 goes out here. Now, big arc and little arc. Well, we want to find the little arc, so let's call that x. So little arc is x. I'm going to put in a minus x. And we just have to put in something for the big arc. We don't have any information about that. There's nothing in the problem to tell us about that. But we do know that the arc length of a whole circle is 360 degrees. We're calling the part that's not the big arc x. So the big arc really equals 360 degrees minus x. So we can put that in here. And I end up with 360 minus x minus x. I can simplify that to 360 minus 2x. I've got to take one half of that and set it equal to 40. Well, one half of 360 minus 2x is 180 minus 2x. Sorry, minus x. Got to divide both by 2. That equals 40. I've run out of room here, so I'm going to move over. But when I subtract 180 from both sides to get the x alone, I get negative 140 equals negative x. If I multiply both sides by a negative 1, I would get x equals 140 degrees. So that's a little bit of work with some word problems that have to do with uh, circles and intersecting or tangent lines.